All right, so here we are in section 2.8. It's all about uh, data output, and you get to see all sorts of cool stuff in here. So this is a great section. Uh, at the end of it, the, like the back part of uh, section 2.8, you get to use format numbers so you can get, uh, you know, like if you're using currency, you can get two decimal places so that you have the sense correct and all that kind of good stuff. So it, it's really fun. Also, we're going to do new line operators, which I love, so we'll do that here in a second. Uh, but there's this just to really quickly uh, talk about the print function. We've been using the print function it's uh now by now you're like oh yeah piece of cake we've got this down uh so with our print function we've been doing different things we're displaying things on the screen and as part of it we've talked about before as part of it uh if i say print one on this and it goes ahead and executes this line it will do a carriage return well new line uh carriage return i guess for those of you old enough to uh, like me that uh remember typewriters anyway uh so you go down the next line and uh, and then it will execute the next uh, this next print statement right here. Go down to the next line. So there's all sorts of good stuff with the with the uh, built-in print function. We love it. All right. One thing we're going to introduce in this, and I'll show you this code in a second through this link, uh, and you obviously play around with it. We're going to add this little argument here end so that's a reserved word for us here we're going to use end equals and then whatever we put in this quote that's the delimiter this is talking about here it will put that at the end of the line instead of going down to the new line all right so we'll take a look at how that works Fact, let's just do that right now all right so here we are with the same code that we had before if you, you want to see it colored up there we go uh good stuff and so here we go so you'll see this work you already know kind of how this works so it's going to go the number one we can't see the cursor but we know it goes down to the next line so there's two if i use line four here you can see in this statement print and then it just has the quote quote all this is going to do it's not going to print anything right so there's nothing there uh but it will have the built-in carriage return so that when i go down here and i say print on this one Notice how it skipped the line. That's because of this statement right here on line four. That's why there's a blank there. Okay. Now, after it prints line one, or after it prints one right here, there's a comma. Then we've got end equals quote and a space and another quote. So when I execute line seven, does the space, goes over and puts the two here. Okay. So this statement ended with a space instead of a new line character uh, did not allow it go to to go down to the next line okay now we can put anything that we'd like in there so it makes it kind of fun and uh and, and we'll we'll do that here in a second because i i think it's kind of fun so anyway you could you could put different things in there the end is typically used uh you know in a, in a situation like this where we don't want it to go down the next line um so so we end up setting it up like that if we go back over to the powerpoint very quickly we'll use another argument here called sep which is short for separator and when we use this, it's going to let us print whatever delimiters that we'd like. And uh, there, there are more examples in the book if you want to check those out. But we can do all sorts of little things in here. So add or remove spaces, um, you know, put in different things, like so whatever we want to do with these, right? So we can add these little uh, things in here, these little, I don't know, I just randomly pick some stuff along the way, and it will print those in. So let's take a look at this code. And it's right here. So here we go. So we're going to print these two things. We're going to have a nice little um, blank line right here that's going to skip a line, another blank line right, right here. And um, with this one, we're going to separate these two with this character. Okay, so that's what this is saying. These two will be separated by these characters. Okay, so it makes it fun with that little string that's in there. So we check this out, and I click Next. There we go. Look, print. I mean, really simple stuff right there, right? So um, there's the blank line that you can't see yet until we come down here. And then look at this. Uh, so there's our separator in between. So it makes it cool. So I, I don't know. This is kind of a fun thing. So you can do all sorts of random stuff. I don't know why we do this, but uh, it's a fun thing to use. And there will be some instances where we'll get to play with this. In fact, with uh, format numbers, we'll play a little bit with this. So you'll get to see it. Okay. Same thing with end. We'll get to mess around with that a little bit. Okay. So those are uh, two little special things that we can, can throw in. So we have end and then we have sep for separator. Okay. Now, the next section in here is cool. And these are nice little things that will save you time. So we're going to talk about escape characters. So an escape character is, you can see right here, so special characters appearing in a string literal. What this does is we use the backslash character right here, and then we give it other commands. So we say, oh, we want to go to a new line. That's what this is, backslash n. 
uh, or maybe we want to tab backslash T. So those are some of the most common ones that you'll see. There'll be a few more here in a second. You'll see on the next slide. Uh, but basically what happens is you throw them right in. So here we go with this string. And as we look at this, uh, it just says hi. And then we see in here backslash N. So that little backslash N right here will be, can I keep it from highlight? Yeah, there we go. This is our new line special character that we're throwing in here. So backslash, backslash, excuse me, N, we'll tell it to go to the next line and you see the output. This is what it would look like. So it would do hi, skip down, there's where N comes in right here, boom, right there, and Joe would print right there. Okay, so this is a very useful tool, especially if you're messing around with strings a lot, you don't have to, you know, create a, any kind of new line command or another print with a you know just a quote quote or something like that we can use this a lot so this is this is a fun one all right another one that you'll see that's used um, if i click down here i'm going to skip right down here so you know we can see how this works again so backslash n right here so one two that's what it does there's the backslash n right here going boom boom taking this cursor down and going here this is the other one tab so backslash t so here we go with our backslash t this is the output you would get so it would print one tab over here and print two all right so these are kind of fun these are some of the most common used uh you can see in this little table so see where it says some so there's more uh but these are the common ones that you'll use and you notice a nice little thing right here so obviously you can print the single quote there you go right here double quote right here or an actual backslash key because you may want that to actually print okay and notice the common denominator here we have this little backslash leading the way okay so as soon as the computer the interpreter sees the backslash it looks for the escape character to follow whether it's an n or a t or whatever it might be and it will execute those in the middle of the string literal so it's great this is a this is a very very useful tool and um and i love playing around with it honestly it's a pretty cool one all right so let's take a look at this one more slide on this little section and then I think I'll do format numbers in a, in a separate video, uh, even though it's part of 2.8. But anyway, let's take a look at this because, um, and I'm just going to pull up the code for this. Uh, we want to use backslash single quote, backslash double quote, and you can use them in these types of sentences so that it prints them out correctly. And let's go over to the code here. So this is what we have. So if we use print and notice how we have different colors here. So thank you to Python Tutor for that. Uh, and it will just say, hey, I know I use a single uh, quote here, single quote here for this particular string, but I want you to print another one of those. Remember before, this would mess us up. So if we didn't have this, this is a disaster, right? So we're going to get a nice little syntax error. It's going to be all messed up. So, oops. So we go ahead and put that back in there. All right, so it will print I'm here. Same thing with this. So read, and then here's our Hamlet piece right here. Backslash quote, double quote there. Backslash, double quote there. So it will print those. And then we have the double quote here, double quote here that uh, signify the start and uh, the beginning and the end of the string, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and do this really quickly so you can see it. Oops, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay, good stuff. All right, so here's the first one. Next, look at that. I'm here backslash right there er, prints that little baby same thing with this one so if i click that read hamlet tonight okay and that's the end of it let's go ahead and go back see if you can do this sentence okay so see if you can do this sentence right here uh go ahead and try this on your own pause the video and come back and i'll show you what it might look like you're going to use escape characters to print this whole thing out Right, and there'll be quite a few of them because it's a little bit it's a little bit funky right here. So anyway, it should be fun. So pause your video and try this out, and then I'll show you what it might look like. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to play with this, and let's take a look at some of the backslashes that you had to put in. Okay, so you have this one, obviously, for the apostrophe here. Of course, you had to do the print statement and open a parentheses and quote here, double quote here. Same thing at the end, double quote there. So I had this one for this apostrophe. I had this one for this double quote, this one for the apostrophe. This one for the double, this one for the double, and then one, don't forget about, you have to do one for this double quote, because if you forget this off here, then it will indeed use this to close this double quote to uh, close out the string, but then it wouldn't print the quote in there that it should uh, for the, the quote from Jeff's mom. Okay, so anyway, so watch out. So how many do you have? One, two, three, four five six in one sentence okay so uh so kind of crazy but a, li a little bit fun to play with i think so and then when you execute it 
you can see I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit let's see if I don't know maybe that'll be good and we've got those first two and then boom look at that ah, so nice so nice all right so that's the end of this little section and uh, the the next video will be the rest of section 2.8 on formatting numbers